This is a pair of maybe the most popular speakers for those fancy ultra minimal setups. You can see them everywhere on the internet. What makes them popular is their size of course, since they do not occupy much space, but for their size they sound like a much bigger speakers and they do cost like a much bigger speakers as well. But why now, why these speakers? What makes them so good to justify the price of $269? It's simple, they are that good. Looking for affordable Windows or Office keys? Look no further, I got you covered. Head over to scdkey.com, pick your Windows edition, use my discount code LE25 to get a 25% on any Windows or Office products. Once you complete your order, after a few seconds you will receive your code. In Windows, go to Settings, there should be an Activate Windows prompt at the bottom. Click that, enter your code and wait for Windows to finish activation. To check the activation status, use the command prompt with a command slmgr dot vbs slash xpr and you should receive a notification that the machine is permanently activated. Once again, use code le25 at scdkey.com. So these are the Audio Engine A2 Plus wireless speakers and right there on the box you can see that it says premium speakers system. Keyword is premium of course. So let's see what's in the box. There are these two pouches, soft bags, in one of them there is a power brick since these are powered speakers. And a 3.5mm to 3.5mm cable, in the other one there is a USB cable, speaker cable and of course some papers. We don't need this foam ladies and gentlemen, these are the speakers, again wrapped in a soft bag. This is the left speaker or the main speaker which has a bunch of connectors, honestly for a small sized speaker they do come with a bunch of connections, but look at this beauty, glossy white wooden cabinet, black drivers, it just blends perfectly together and they do have quite a weight to them. And you know what that means? It means quality. This would be a right speaker which only has a connector for the speaker cable which of course connects to the main speaker or the left speaker. Just to clarify the size of these, 152mm high, 102 wide and 133mm deep, so quite a small pair of speakers but they are weighing 1.6 kilos for the left one and 1.4 kilos for the right one. The best way to describe them is small but mighty, since they are 60 watts in total. Class AB amplifier delivers 30 watts to each speaker with 2.75 aramid fiber buffer and 0.75 inch dome tweeter. It is incredible how much power they can output being this small and on top of it they come with a bunch of connectivity options at the rear side. All the ports are on the left or the main speaker. I don't know why they are on the left since it's more convenient to be on the right side, but I guess they had their reasons. Also they chose to hide the volume knob on the back as well, so it leaves the front clean on both speakers. Anyway, you have two RCA or Chinch input jacks and two outputs so you can route a cable to a subwoofer. You have a classic 3.5mm analog input jack and on top of that there is a micro USB input as well. And on top of it all they are equipped with Qualcomm QCC 30313034 aptX wireless audio as well. There are also hi-fi banana jacks output to the right speaker and of course the power brick connector connections. On the right speaker there are only the banana terminals for the connection to the main speaker. Honestly these are more than plenty connectivity options but in return this makes them literally plug and play for any device and operating system as well. So if you're in a Windows or a Mac simply plug them in and they will be immediately recognized and will not require any drivers to work since they have a built-in 16-bit 48kHz DAC so use the USB cable for that. If you hate cables, no worries, Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity is there as well with aptX support for high quality wireless sound transmission and it also supports AAC and SBC codecs beside the aptX. They are capable of delivering sound from 65 all the way up to 20,000 Hz and for that take a listen how they sound if that can be at all properly captured with a microphone but I will make sure to explain this after you hear them.
Quite powerful, don't you think? I tried using them with all methods of connections and on top of that I tried them with Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 Gen 3 audio interface as well and here are my thoughts. So using the classic 3.5 and RCA jacks gave me somewhat the worst sound since this depends on the audio source and the integrated sound cards on most modern PCs today are good but they can't compete with an audio interface or DAC. It did sound great but did require a lot of EQing to them so that's doesn't sound quite good to my ears but on the other hand using the integrated deck via USB or via the audio interface such as the Scarlett 2i2 here they did produce literally the same sound quality so no complaints there and oh boy do they sound good they are how to explain this well they are surgically precise that would be the best way to describe the sound coming out from them High range is extremely pronounced and precise, mid-tones are there and they are not drowned nor muddied with highs. The bass is there as well despite being so small. I was blown away how such a small speaker is capable of delivering such a powerful bass. They sound the best at 50% volume and you can use your device to control the volume further. They do go loud but do not distort which is awesome. Using the Bluetooth connection with aptX capable device also delivers extremely precise sound, but you can notice that it lacks bass and some clarity then. I mean, some frequencies are lost in that way, but if you are in a need of a wireless sound, trust me, they will sound much better than 99% of commercial wireless speakers. There are also some things that I did not like about them. Let's start with the neutral first. In my opinion, they should have had a bass reflex port on the back. A small rounded hole could be fitted on the back which in return would deepen the bass a little. My thoughts, I am by no means an audio engineer, they do have a slit in the front which acts as a bass reflex port and at high volumes you can literally feel the air blowing through them holes but as I said let this be a neutral thing. At lower volumes they sound nice but in some cases I feel that they lack that deeper bass. Best way to explain this is if I compare them to the Edifier MR4 speakers for example this is a 4 inch size speaker and when bass kicks in you can feel it spreading. Wait let me explain this. Imagine you are making your bed and you take your sheets and you do that and the sheet spreads evenly across the bed. Well that is how a bass should spread but with these I feel that when you do that the sheet always 
folds in half, like it's not returning, not spreading all the way, it cuts certain frequencies, I mean certain amount of bass, and that is where a subwoofer is really needed just to bring up that portion of the whole sound stage, and of course this is also a limitation due to the speaker size as well. There are no tone adjustment knobs, as with most speakers in this range, so you can't room correct them to adjust the treble or bass. Luckily they are tuned good in the factory, so that is why it might be that we do not have this option. And last thing, being a powered speaker, there is a certain amount of hiss that you can hear when nothing is playing. It can get annoying sometimes, this is actually an issue with most power speakers. And I would also add and recommend that you use some sort of stand, preferably something elevated to the ear height, that way they will sound much better. Anyhow, why now and why these speakers? As I said in the beginning, it's simple. They are extremely good and precise. That is why the price is $269 and trust me, you get a lot in return for that money. If you have a setup that is limited with space but you do not want to sacrifice on sound quality, this is the best option then. Beautiful, handcrafted design, timeless looks, compact, will fit in any modern desk setup but the quality is way above their size. If I compare them with the Edifier MR4 which I use as my main speakers, I must say that they are equal, even surpassing them with sound quality. Even though these are twice as big, I mean the MR4s are twice as big, so yeah, these are really small but extremely mighty speakers. Here's a cool thing also, Audio Engine will be also releasing a new product soon. This is a new D1P deck which can be used as a headphone amplifier but also as a deck for your speakers. It features USB for both power or as an input from your phone or a tablet, 3.5mm headphone jack, optical input at the back and a line out RCA jack for your speakers as well. On the front there is a switch so you can switch from headphones to RCA line out as well. It's a pretty convenient device and above all this is a 32-bit 384kHz capable deck sporting Sabre SA9312ES9219 C chips. So this paired with an audio engine speakers and you will have a pretty powerful and high quality sound experience. So thanks for watching guys, let me know what you think about audio engine speakers, good or overrated. Also sub to the channel, like and share the video and I'll see you in the next one.